While no one has ever proven fascinating theories about what really lies in the center of the Earth, we still dig deep into it to extract important resources that provide many materials needed in today's society. From fossil fuels and precious metals to important scientific geological samples that probe the Earth to acquire more information about the planet's sediments, crust, and upper mantle. The deeper we dig into the planet, the more important materials and information we seem to find. Throughout history, mankind has dug quite some deep holes into the Earth, with the impressive effort of looking into the planet being as important or even more than the drive of exploration towards outer space. In this video, we're taking a look at the 10 deepest holes ever dug by humans. Before we jump to it, don't forget to click the like button, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more updates. Number 10. Delete Well Our first entry is a notable inclusion into the list due to the surmountable challenge it took to achieve this rather life-saving achievement. In rural India, many people found themselves struggling due to a drought brought on by an unusually dry monsoon season. With many of the freshwater wells that people rely on for water every day completely having dried up. This drought only made life much harder for so many people in these communities, who still experience caste tensions to this day. These Indian people, known as the Dalit, or more conventionally known as the Untouchables, are traditionally considered to be the lowest in the Indian caste system, and for thousands of years, this marginalized sector of Indian society were forced to take on the worst jobs that brought on the imagery of being unclean, that people born to the higher castes would not sit beside them or even drink the same water with them. Despite the ban on this prejudice in the mid-20th century, the discrimination against the Dalit still persists. In 2016, a man from the rural village of Maharashtra stood up to the prejudice against his community when villagers were barred from gathering water from neighboring towns. The man named Bapuro Tajni, in response to the insult and barring, decided to dig a new well within a nearby town. He manually worked for up to 14 hours a day on top of his laboring job to dig the well. And after 40 days of hard work, Tajni had struck much needed groundwater. The well was over 15 feet deep and six feet wide with Tajni intending to improve the lucky water site with the help of his neighbors. This just proves that no unjust system, or even the worst drought in decades, can ever stop the resilience of the human spirit for survival. Number 9. Woodingdean Water Well Located just outside of Nuffield Hospital in Woodingdean, near Brighton in the UK, is the deepest hand-dug well in the world. The Woodingdean Water Well Built to provide water for a nearby workhouse, the work on the water well started in 1858 and finished four years later in 1862. The well is 390 meters or 1,285 feet deep and just one meter wide. It was hand dug by members of the local workhouse, done in shifts 24 hours a day for four years. At night, they carried out work with candles as the only source of light. They had to scale up and down the shaft in complete darkness on unstable and dangerous connected ladders. To give you a glimpse of this impressive challenge, the Woodingdean Well is as deep as the Empire State Building is tall, which only adds to the feat these builders had to endure. On the day they struck water, one of the workers saw that the earth he was standing on at the bottom of the shaft was beginning to heave upwards, and the workers scrambled upwards as fast as they could to escape the gushing water which rose up to 400 feet in the first hour. Number 8. Divik Diamond Mine, Canada An industrial complex diamond mine located in the subarctic landscape of the Northwest Territories in Canada, the Divik Diamond Mine started its operation in 2003. This area of Canada is one of the world's preeminent sources of gem diamonds, with the mine itself having produced over 100 million carats of diamonds. Drilling into the region has reached about 250 meters, or more than 820 feet. The area is quite remote, with the mine being accessible only by a plane, with its gravel runway and ice roads from it being the only option of reaching the mine. Number 7. The Berkeley Pit, Montana, USA This former open pit copper mine located in Butte, Montana, in the United States was operational from 1955 until its closure in 1982. 
By 1980, nearly 1.5 billion tons of material had been removed from the pit, including more than 290 million tons of copper ore. The pit is 7,000 feet long and 5,600 feet wide, and a depth of more than 1,600 feet. It has since been filled with 900 feet worth of groundwater and rainwater. Due to its mineral composition, the pit is laden with heavy metals and dangerous chemicals that leach from within the mine. With the water used to saturate the decommissioned mine turned highly acidic. Today, the Berkeley Pit is a tourist destination and is now one of the only places in the world where you can pay to see toxic waste while perched on a viewing deck. Number 6. Kimberly Diamond Mine, Africa the Kimberley Diamond Mine is a combination open pit and underground diamond mine in Kimberley, South Africa. When diamonds were found in the area in 1866, the discovery set off a diamond rush with prospectors from all over the world flocking to this area. From its operations in 1871 to the mine's closure in 1914, miners have excavated 22.5 tons of rock, which produced a total weight of 2,722 kilograms of rough diamonds amounting to 14.5 million carats. This mine is famous for its big hole, which covers a surface of 17 hectares or 42 acres, and is 463 meters or 1,519 feet wide, with a depth of 240 meters or 790 feet. Considering that 50,000 miners dug the hole with picks and shovels, it's quite an incredible feat of grinding work. Number five, Myrny Mine, Russia After diamond-bearing deposits were discovered in 1955, geologists in Soviet Russia transformed an area located in eastern Siberia into one of the largest excavated holes in the world has ever seen. The Myrny Mine reached depths of 1,722 feet and stretched 3,900 feet in diameter and was once the largest diamond mine on Earth. This former open pit mine began production in 1957 and was open for 44 years before being permanently closed in 2001. At its peak, the mine produced 10 million carats of diamonds annually. This mine has since been bought out by Alrosa, the largest diamond producing company in Russia, who now supervises underground operations at the mine since 2009. Number 4. Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, Antarctica the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, or simply the Ice Cube, is a neutrino observatory constructed at the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica that has thousands of sensors located under the Antarctic ice distributed over a cubic kilometer. A project that is a recognized CERN experiment, the Ice Cube is part of a series of projects developed and supervised by the University of Wisconsin Madison. It was built to look for point sources of neutrinos, a subatomic particle that is smaller to an electron but has no electrical charge and very small mass. Ice Cube aims to observe neutrino reactions by being deep beneath the surface, where atmospheric pressure is 700 times stronger, allowing air bubbles to be squeezed from dense Antarctic ice, which would lead to observable neutrino collisions. To do this, Ice Cube placed 86 cables with 60 digital optic modules beneath the ice that would relay data from the icy depths to the surface above. These modules hang at depths from 4,750 feet to 8,000 feet down, or one and a half miles beneath the surface. Number three, Mpanig Gold Mine, South Africa. Located in Gauteng province of South Africa, the Mpanig Mine reaches up to 3,400 meters, or 11,154 feet, and is one of the world's deepest and richest gold mines. Mpanig is near the northwestern rim of the Witwatersrand Basin, which ushered in a new gold rush in the South African region due to the extraordinary quantities of gold that have been extracted from the Witwaters and rocks. The mine's shafts are so deep that in 2008, researchers found an extra morphile organism present within the groundwater samples from kilometers deep in the mine. Number 2. Bingham Canyon Mine, Utah The Bingham Canyon Mine is located near Salt Lake City in Utah and is one of the world's biggest man-made excavation and open-pit copper mines. The mine has been in production since 1906 and is considered to have produced more than 19 million tons of copper, more than any other mine in history. Its operations have resulted in the creation of a pit depth of over 1,210 meters or 3,940 feet, 
4 kilometers wide, and covers 1,900 acres. Number 1. Kola Superdeep Borehole, Russia Considered as a portal to the center of the Earth, or as close to it as humanly possible, the Kola Superdeep Borehole is the deepest hole in the world. Located on the Kola Peninsula of northeastern Russia, the Soviets implemented the project in an attempt to drill as deep as possible into the Earth's crust. This resulted in a 9-inch diameter hole that reached a depth of 12,262 meters, or 40,230 feet, the deepest artificial point on Earth. The target of the project was intended to reach 2,000 more meters than that, but Soviet scientists and engineers had to five up due to the unexpectedly high temperatures they couldn't overcome. At seven and a half miles below the surface, the rocks at that depth are as old as 2.7 billion years, had scorching temperatures of around 180 degrees Celsius, which ultimately deformed the drill bits and pipes used. What do you think about these 10 deepest holes ever dug by humans? We'd love to hear what you think about them by commenting below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more stories.